Hi guys, Michael here again. This is the second video in a series looking at budgets or budget planners in um, spreadsheets. Didn't mention this as using Google Sheets as well. So what we've done is we've finished making one that looks a little bit like uh, the original here. Um, except my colors aren't quite evening up, but that doesn't matter. So we've got this sheet set up. A few little formatting things I didn't mention was that you don't want all those lines so we're going to hide those the grid lines just by clicking that so view grid lines they're gone now that looks a lot more like this one um, and when you finished it oh no hang on we'll get to that in a minute first things first let's look at these formulas now these cells don't have formulas they're just the numbers typed in direct this one is the same so we just with this we just need to type in the numbers this, however, is a formula. Nice simple formula. It is uh, equals sum and F5 to F8. So because F5 is here through to F8, so we're adding up the income from the month. And then expenses, of course, is adding up these. It's pretty obvious. And then Obviously, we're going to work out the balance. So once we've got our income and we take away the expenses, what's left is how much money we've got left over. So we go this cell, which is F11, minus this cell, which is F12. Again, fairly straightforward. Over here, we've got um, our expenses carried over here. So this is how much, what our expenses are for the month. 1935 and we want to work out what percentage of the income was spent so this is done using a simple formula f12 divided by f11 which is that the expenses divided by the income and that gives you the percentage you need to make sure that you format your cell to say percentage otherwise it's going to probably turn out as a number um, right, so that's that. Now, when you've filled it out and you've put all your formulas in, and don't do this until you've got all your formulas working, you then want to copy that sheet by, or duplicate that sheet, I should say, and then you can rename them. So I would call this January, the same as that one, uh, and that will, this one will be Feb. So then you'd come in here. February like that and then you can go in and change the numbers you don't need to change the formulas they will change automatically so let's just say uh, the power was a little bit higher so 150 as you can see the numbers have changed okay whoops so that's that now I'm going to delete those because I want to show you what we do at the end with our summary as well yep so Goodbye to those. Okay. In our summary, expenses summary, what we've done is we've got a, a graph and a pie chart, I should say, and we've got a list of all the expenses for the year. So that includes all the rent from all the months, all the power from all the months, and so on. Simple way to do it. This formula looks complicated, but it's really not. Let's delete it. And actually, for the sake of the... No, no, we'll delete it. It's fine. We'll go equals to start a formula. And then what we do, while we've now that we've started the formula, we can go back into this other sheet and we can click on that cell there, which is the first rent. And we go plus, so it's January. Uh, the January exclamation mark means it's from the January sheet. And we go to February. And we go click on, it's a bit hard to grab it but it's there, February, February, and then March, and so on until we've done all of them. Um, what did I do wrong? Ah, oh, probably did that. There we go. So that's just the start of it. I'm going to just undo that because it's not complete. There we go. So that's the full version. And you just do the same with all of those. 
and then creating a pie chart should not be difficult at all. You should be able to delete that. Um, just off screen here, there's the explore button. You can press that and you can drag in pie chart. That's actually a better one. And there we go. That's done showing the breakdown of all the expenses over the year. Hope you can manage that okay without too much trouble. I hope I haven't missed anything out. Um, good luck.